next step, we're going to come over to the 4x4 post that we installed. Remember, we left them a little bit longer than we uh, than we needed. It's a little bit, it's better being a little bit too long than a little bit too short. So now we slid the post cover over the top of our 4x4. We marked it all the way around with our pencil. Let's take our sleeve cover back off, place that to the side for now. We're going to grab our circular saw. Now this particular circle, circular saw will not cut through the entire 4x4 post. It'll cut like three quarters of the way through. So we're going to make our first cut on the one side, lining our blade up on the, uh, the marks that we just put in there. Does it have to be a perfectly smooth cut? No. It can be um, fairly close, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So we're just going to cut along the line all the way through. Once we cut it through on that side of the line, we're going to come around on the other side and we're going to cut the opposite side so that it intersects with the one that we just cut on the previous side. Now, probably a good idea to wear safety goggles, but I actually dropped mine and I forgot to put them back on, so you should wear safety goggles whenever you're working on this. Once we cut that through all the way, that piece of the post then is going to come flying off, and that's trash. As I said, it doesn't have to be perfect on top. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the, uh, the lower part of the sleeve and we're going to slide that down over our 4x4 post all the way down to the very bottom. And then we're going to take our post cover, slide that all the way down, and that post cover actually touches onto the, to the, uh, the new deck material itself. We're going to take our cap and we're going to put our cap on there as well. Now this is personal preference, if you like, before you put your cap on. You can put a little bead of silicone underneath there to hold it on in case you're worried about it coming off. But we'll get to that step a little later on. I want to get the, because uh, the 4x4s are a little bit crooked. So we're going to get our, our uh, railings up first before we silicone those uh, covers and put them on permanently. Now here, the only thing we did, we cut that one 4x4 against the house. We cut that actually before we installed that 4x4 because we would not be able to turn the circular saw around and cut it on the other side. We could cut it with a sawzall, but I elected to cut it short before I even put it on. All right, next we're going to go around and we're going to continue with the rest of the railings. We're going to cut them to size, slide our sleeve and post cover on. As you can see in this video, we have our first section of railing that was put on. Now I'm putting this railing on, but I'm going to take you through step by step how to install the next section of railing so that your job will come out absolutely perfect as well. But that's what it looks like when it's finished. And now we're going to put this section in and we'll continue with that. Okay, today's project, we're going to be installing the railings on this particular part of the deck that we're up to right now. Um, now, these railings are actually, they're made by Trex. It's a Transcend, and this is the newest one. This is a little bit different than the older style rails that they had, so uh, follow along, and I'll show you exactly how to do it step by step. First thing you're going to do is when you bought the deck sleeve itself, you kept the, uh, the, the box that it came in, and you didn't throw it away. What you do is you rip this piece off of the box itself. The box is then trash, but this we need to use on here so we can put our hardware in the correct spot on this side. And then you can see on this side, I already put one on there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go up to this here, where it says this end up, and we're going to attach it on here. This goes around the 4x4. If you're using something other than 4x4, it may be a little bit different, uh, but you'll have to check your uh, your particular application. Now these particular railings, we, we know that these are going to be for a 36 inch top rail. That's how high this is going to be. So check your local building codes and make sure you're, you're up to the to whatever your municipality's codes would be. All right, enough talking. Let's get in here. Let's put these on, drill the holes, attach the railings, and move on to the next section. All right, so we're going to take this now. Okay, what you do is you take your Take your box, put it all the way down, sit it up on top of that little foot of, uh, uh, on the bottom of the post. Put it on there, hold this around it like that, and then we're going to tape it here and down on the bottom. So let's do that. Make sure it's sitting directly on top of that little piece on the bottom. Center it around the post itself like that. Put it on. And then we'll wrap it around 
with some tape. And you can use tape, or you could use a rubber band, whatever works for you. I like using tape because it holds pretty good and you don't have to worry about it. All right, do the exact same thing down on the bottom right here. Make sure you're sitting on top of your post sleeve on the bottom down here, which we are. We're going to put this around just like this and just like this. And now we're ready to mount our hardware here, here, and the ones behind me as well. All right, so let's grab our, uh, our drill and let's pre-drill the holes that we're going to put it in right here. Now, of course, we have our Trex railing kit here like this. Okay, it comes with all of the hardware needed to mount it, so we need that. We are not going to use these pieces right here because that's if you have a, uh, a bad cut and it doesn't line up properly. But if you cut it as close as possible, you won't even need these. But again, that's personal preference. We choose not to use them. All right, it also comes with the, uh, the bottom piece like this that goes under the deck, railing the lower rail to keep it from sagging later on down the road. All right, so uh, all right, let's get in here and let's uh, let's mount these cleats up. This is the tool, so we're going to need to do it. We're going to need a drill with a 1 16th drill bit. We're going to use a uh, driver to drive the screws in. We have some old pieces of Trex that we're going to use to secure the bottom rail in place so we can screw it on. And the other thing I want to talk to you about, too, is you wonder what this is all about. The reason we have this is because these railings right here, they actually move. You see? So what we're going to do, we're going to put take this cap off on top right here. We're going to come up with our shim and put our shim down in here just to shim it so that it doesn't move any longer. Now, this is going to be a little bit crooked because, as you know, the, the, the material you buy today is of poor quality and they're a little bit warped and not perfectly straight. So we're going to do the best we can to make sure we have a straight. All right, let's get in there and uh, let's mount this up. Okay, so let's install, let's install the first one. We have our either 1 16th or 1 inch, 1 8th inch drill bit. We're going to come in here. We're going to put the bracket facing up just like this right here. We're going to pre-drill the holes for the screws. Next, we're going to take our driver and we're going to drive the screws in. Okay, nice and tight. Do the exact same thing down on the bottom now. This bracket here, we need to face this one facing down. So we're going to hold it, you can see right here, just like this. Goes like that. And now we'll put those screws in the top right here as well. Now that we have these two in, let's go to the other side and do the exact same thing. Remember, this is facing down, and now we're going to pre-drill it.
Okay, now once these are tight, we can then take our template off and we'll continue with the next step. Okay, we'll take these off. We're going to save these because we will need them to do the next railing on the other side. But we just put these off to the side for now. Same thing on the other one here. We'll take this off for now. Okay, we'll use these again later. All right. Next, we're going to measure our bottom rails and we'll cut them to size. Okay, next we're going to lay our bottom rail in place and we're going to cut it to the width between this one and this one. Whatever this distance is, we're going to cut it there. We're going to do the exact same thing on the top right here. So let's mark it. Okay, and this one. Okay, all right, let's bring it over to the saw. Let's cut these and we'll fit them in place. Okay, next we're ready to cut them. I will tell you this, when you use the, the miter saw, make sure you cut it square and also cut it very slow because if you cut it quickly, you're going to chip out on this and you're going to have a problem. All right, so just take our time and we'll go very slowly through it. This is the top one, so we'll do the bottom one next. Let's get this out of the way. Do the exact same thing on this one. Nice and slow. Remember, you're not going fast. You're cutting it slow. Otherwise, you're going to chip it. All right, let's make sure they fit. And we'll put it together. Okay, now that we have our rails cut, we're going to take our top rail and just put it off to the side for now, just like that. We're going to bring our bottom rail in, and we're going to put it up where it fits to make sure it fits in there correctly. Which it does. Alright, so now we have our bottom rail in place. Let's get our top rail in there, and uh, we'll secure it in place now. Put this up here, just like this. Okay, fits perfectly. If you need to trim it again, of course you can trim it. Honestly, I did trim this twice before I put it in here because it's better off to make it a little bit too long than a little bit too short. All right, next thing we're gonna do now, let's take our screws that came provided with it and we'll drive them in there and secure the bottom rail in, in place first. And then we'll connect the top rail up and we'll finish that off there. All right, so let's take it, lift it up, put our first screw in. Okay, we'll do the exact same thing on the other side just to catch the bottom rail. Lift it up. Okay, now before we go any further, we're going to take a piece of tape just like this and we're going to put it up against the post because when we try to drive it in with our driver, it's going to scratch the brand new post. Okay, so now we'll grab our screws we have here. And now we'll drive the other two in place. Be careful, do not do not over tighten it because you can strip it out. Obviously it's just made of plastic, so be careful. Okay, let's put the other two in the other side. Okay, our bottom rail is in place. We'll do the exact same thing on the top right now. We'll screw that in place.
Okay, top rail's in, bottom rail's in. Let's cut our spacers right here, and then we'll continue with that. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our bottom rail after we cut it to length, and we're gonna put it in, and we're gonna snap it down in place. Okay. okay, next we're going to take our top, put it in here like this. We're going to take our balusters, let's put them in here, slide them in place, just like that. And now we're going to bend these and put them up into the rail, the top rail, just like this. And we're going to continue with all of them. Straight down the line, just like this. You know what, let me just tell you one thing before I go any further. Just so you know, the bottom piece here, the foot that goes down the bottom right here, we did pre-drill this hole on the bottom right here for this to fit into, just so you know, before we put everything together, we pre-drill that, okay? Okay, so next we're gonna take this, put a baluster in here, and just pull it over. Stick it in there just like that. Now we're going to put them approximately where they belong, just like this. And now we'll pull up this bottom piece on the bottom here very slowly because you don't want to break it. We'll have to adjust the rungs here, the uh, balusters, to accommodate it. Take your time because you don't want to break anything. And then once we have everything lined up, we just take the top piece and snap it in. Just like that. And this railing is now finished. And of course, we just put our top piece back on here. We're going to add a little bit of silicone here. And we'll take this and we'll stick it back on top of the post. And then this one will be all done. Next thing we're going to do. Okay, so this rail is done. This rail is done. These two rails are done. Next, we're going to go over on the side over here. And we're going to put these two rails on. And then our railings will be done. But before we do that... Let's put our foot underneath the bottom here to keep it from sagging as it gets older. It's quite simple to do. Just take it like this. There's a screw down at the bottom right here. We're going to take that screw out. We'll put it down for now. We're going to come up onto the bottom. We're going to put this little pin into that hole that we pre-drilled down the bottom there and then we'll screw it down, so let's do that. Okay, we're gonna take our piece, put it at the bottom, feel for the hole that we drilled in there. Make sure this pin goes into that hole that we have underneath here. Okay, once it's in the hole, just screw that foot down a little bit till it touches the deck. Just like that, line it up. And let's put our last screw right in the bottom right here, and we'll be all set. Okay, the last thing we'll do, let's put our cover down, and that's it. This railing is now done. Cap is back on. Okay, and this will be the next two sections that we're going to install. 
and then our railings will be finished.